This group of wild meerkats have been the subject of a 10-year study by Cambridge University into their daily lives and relationships. Cameras record events at the burrows and a radio collar round Flower's neck helps track their movements. It's early morning and the Whiskers burrow is buzzing with anticipation. Extra sentries are on duty scanning the sky for predators. Flower's adult son, Shakespeare, a mature and reliable member of the family, is keeping a close eye on some birds of prey. And the reason for all this activity? The big day is finally here and Flower's pups are coming out to meet the whole family for the first time. Flower won't normally allow other females to breed, so her pups really are the future of the group. Some of the juvenile meerkats have returned early from their foraging trip and are messing around near the burrow. These naughty teenagers are Flower's pups from the year before and are always looking for a bit of mischief. But it's been a long morning for the babysitters and the midday heat is taking its toll. Unfortunately, any lapse in concentration can be lethal, and right under their noses, Kinkaju, one of the teenagers, seizes her chance and steals a pup. These cheeky youngsters don't mean any harm. They simply want to have a bit of fun and take the pup out foraging. But they are too inexperienced to realize that little Mitch is nowhere near ready. It's not long before, in typical teenage fashion, Kinkajou and her little gang get bored of looking after three-week-old Mitch and abandon him. Alone in the bush, the pup has absolutely no chance of survival. Mitch's only hope is that one of the foraging adults returns to rescue him. But there's no one in sight. The teenagers have forgotten about him already. Fortunately, luck is on the little pup's side. Mitch's knight in shining armor is his older brother, Shakespeare. He's returned early from the morning's foraging and quickly realizes that the pup is in trouble. Shakespeare does the only sensible thing and takes his little brother back to safety. At last, Mitch is reunited with the rest of his litter. His job done, our hero heads back to join the others out foraging. The rest of the Whiskers group are out foraging, and they've made a disturbing discovery. Meerkats have little bolt holes scattered around their territory. Unfortunately, a squatter has moved into this one. It's a puff adder, with a deadly bite and one of the fastest strikes of any snake in the world so the meerkats want him out. They are mobbing him, trying to hound him out with a relentless show of strength and unity. Suddenly, their victim can tolerate it no longer. Shakespeare has received a vicious double bite. The rest of the group are too preoccupied to notice and he limps off in agony. Shakespeare has been bitten on both the face and the thigh and will have a massive dose inside him. It's getting late and Shakespeare must try and get a move on if he's to make it home before dark. Back at the burrow, the group are starting to head below ground for the night. Shakespeare has managed to crawl into the burrow entrance. He desperately needed cover for the night, but he can go no further. Even breathing is a struggle. It seems unlikely that he will make it through the night. <laughs> 